Hi everyone and welcome. This is Lori of Mara from the Heart. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to show you one of the Prima birdhouses that I've completed. I'm going to be doing three of these um, birdhouses. Two of them are for uh, custom orders and one of them for myself. This one here is for a custom order. They wanted something in blues and the lady that's going to receive this um, is a avid gardener and um, and loves the bird theme too so um, this is what uh, I've created for this particular order here. I'll show you it. Uh, we'll go on around first and I'll tell you a little bit about it and then um, do some close-ups here. Got a turntable here I'm going to spin it around for you so you can see what I did with it and then I'll talk about what I started with also. There you go. Um, I started with one of the uh, new Prima metal birdhouses. Um, this is um, really old and rustic looking. In fact, it it actually almost looks dirty, like it's been out um, outside and weathered a lot. And I like the look. I, I'm going to do one of them that's actually going to be in some of the brown tones, so I'll probably leave it more like you get it when you buy it. Um, but for this particular one, I wanted it more in whites and kind of blue uh, colors to um, match the home decor and stuff in it. So I went ahead and uh, changed it up just a bit to kind of fit what I needed it to do. Um, so as you can see, I, I used a white wash paint first over the whole thing and then I went back over and actually took off uh, some of the paint again right where the original uh, one was so that it can still have that worn um, kind of vintage uh, rustic look to it. Uh, then I took some of my sprays. These are the Tim Holtz Distress um, stain, the spray stains. Um, I used the faded jean, the picket fence, and the peacock feathers um, to kind of give it the look that you see here with some um, kind of blue spray on it. It's a little heavier on the back and on the inside than it is on the sides and front. Um, kind of a trial and error learning how to uh, get the spray on and give it a little color without um, overdoing it too much. The, it's also been painted on the inside too so that it would brighten it up. Um, I discovered that the darker it was inside the harder it was to kind of uh, figure out decorations to pop out so um, I suggest either papering it or painting it uh, a lighter color to the inside uh, will help. Um, I took my um, dusty attic, uh, this one here that has the um, window, and those are grapes and the grapevine um, running on the window. I think it's called cottage window. And um, that's what you can see at the back. Let me see if I can zoom in here and have you look at the inside a little bit more. It's kind of covered up with the things that I did inside there. So you can go to my blog and see pictures of the process as I went along and get a little bit better look at it. Um, it wasn't too hard to use this one. I actually uh, trimmed it down. It didn't. I wasn't able to use too much of the outer frame on there, um, which was fine. And I went in and painted the frame. Um, in the brown and the grapes uh, did it in a dark bluish purple and then the vines in a light green and you can see that again like I said on the pictures on my blog um, of what that actually looked like uh, the steps and process and then there's a little bit of gesso um, kind of dabbed over it um, to kind of soften it back up again uh, so then I added the uh, flowers from Dusty Attic um, some of the blue ones in the package here and uh, they're placed at the back in there on the lattice. Um, see if you can see them to the corner and stuff. 
a, I also added some of these Anita's, um, these are from Do Crafts, uh, the Dimensional uh, Butterflies in there as well. So I've got a couple that actually matched and looked really good. So, you know, like every garden should um, have butterflies in it. There's a little metal bench that used to be green that is inside there. Let's see if I can get in there. Maybe I'll bring this a little closer, tip it up. Can you see the garden bench in there? There's a garden bench in there and, and like I said it was green and I painted it over with white gesso first and let that dry and then went back over with a real light uh, brown um, just kind of highlight. It actually has like a grain um, imprint on the bench so that was kind of nice so it actually looks like the bench uh, a real bench in there. There's a little tiny flower pot in there with some flowers in it sitting on the bench. Some of the uh, moss coming out here and up the side and then I wanted um, some kind of little bit of a focal point uh, inside and um, so I made a little bit of a banner and it says home tweet home and again you can see that a little bit closer on my blog I've added um, a little bit of a white picket fence here and some more of the flowers and um, then one of the bulbs right there that says enjoy. This is from, mm, let me see, I forgot what the name of it was. It was a bird off a paper pack. Uh, it's a Graphic 45 um, paper pack. Uh, da -da -da -da. Forgot the name of it. Oh, but botanical tea collection and that's the bird that's on one of the um, little cards that's in there and then I just fussy cut that out and uh, place that in amongst the flowers and then we have a piece of metal filigree up here that has a little bow on it and just to add a little something up near the top let me back back up here um, give it a little something at the top I've added just a little bit more of the um, little grass up there and there you go this is the little um, birdhouse that I put together for this order and then I'm going to be doing two more of them so I hope you pop back over and check out the other ones as well the products that I showed you here are carried in my art fire store including the birdhouses uh, there'll be a link down below if you want to pop over and check out if they're still available and create your own if you'd like. And there will also be a link for my blog. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.